All right, let's do deep cuts. <gasps> okay. Name a song, album, or artist that changed your life. Okay. Donna Missal. Grew up very close to her. I was very close with her younger sister. In New Jersey. In New Jersey. Yeah. And from the day I met her, I just wanted to be as cool as she was. Aw. And write music like she did. Because I was, I mean, I was a very young teenager at the time. Um, and then watching her journey was really inspiring to me when I started trying to do music professionally. Um, I remember going to a show she played at school night. This was so many years ago, probably 10 years ago now at this point. And watching her, she was barefoot, had this dress on, and she was just singing her ass off. And I remember thinking, it, I wasn't making music yet at the time, but I remember thinking, that's what I want to do with That's my awesome. Life. Yeah. What was the first concert that changed you? Ooh, the first concert that changed me. I don't know about the f- first, but I do know that I saw Cage the Elephant. <sighs> Years ago, and it changed me forever. I agree. Forever. I agree. Wow. Wow. They are one of, I tried to sign them back in the day. <gasps> I love Cage the Elephant. What an incredible band, a, a great live band. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. I, like, I want to do that. Yeah. Oh my, what a great reference. I love you for that. That's so yeah. great. What's a song you wish you wrote? Hmm. Smells like Teen Spirit. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not to be like. I love that you love Nirvana. That makes me so I love happy. Them so much. I know. I love them. Yeah. I hear a lot of really good early '90s alternative in your music. Thank you. I do. I hear Thank a you. lot of it. it. Makes me really happy. Thank you. What is it about Nirvana that that resonates with you? I've just always gravitated like a moth to a flame yeah. to Kurt Cobain. I don't know why. I don't know what I. I must have seen something at a young age and just thought, that's, that's it. Yeah. And the music just speaks to me. Mm -hmm. I think he's such a poet. He's a poet. And it's so abstract and, and interesting. The words, his word choices. He also was very progressive. Mm -hmm. Also in the message of Mm -hmm. his lyrics, just like you. Actually, let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. You have used your music as anthems. Mm -hmm. Um, you actually, Safe Place for Youth, you mm-hmm. know, the Ally Coalition, yes. you've been really involved. Tell me a little bit about your work. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I try, one of the first things that was very important to me when I set out to become a musician was building a platform so I could give back. Mm-hmm. Because I think what's the point if we're not sharing what we have um, with everybody? And I don't know, I try my best. I also have like a wonderful team that is incredible at putting things in front of me. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were who connected me with Safe Place for Youth and the Ally Coalition. And we really try, I mean, anytime I even do a merch drop, I'm always trying to convince my team to donate 100% of the profits. Aww. And everyone's like, Ryan, <laughs> you need to make some money. I'm like, no, give it away. Give it all away. Oh, um, yeah. you're a beautiful being. What's your favorite movie? Donnie Darko. Oh, amazing. Hands down. Oh, it's such it's a good so choice. Good. Yeah. Such a What's good choice. What's your favorite movie? Well, Train Spotting mm. changed my life just mm-hmm. as far as music. Yeah. I loved all of the movies where music played a huge role. Yeah. So Train Spotting, Singles, mm-hmm. Reality Bites, you know, Romeo and Juliet, Clueless. Oh, These were yeah. all like epic soundtracks, yes. you know. Mm-hmm. But then I also love like psychological thrillers like Silence of the Lambs oh, yeah. and Cape Fear and yeah. – the hand that rocks the cradle. Like, I mm. love all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I also love Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> like good. A huge, a like, classic. And I love Back to the Future 2. It's like my favorite. Oh, 2 is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. It's so uh, good. Yeah. Those are sort of my like mm-hmm. categories, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I love that. What is your favorite meal or cuisine? Mm, probably sushi. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which I don't even eat fish. So it's hilarious that I say that. But you can still do amazing vegetable rolls. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I course. just love it. I love rice. Yes. I could live off of, if I could only eat one food for the rest of my life, it would be And it's rice. just like white rice, just like plain rice. Any Great. rice, plain rice, I'll put salt on it. Great. Really? <laughs> You're saying, not even sauce? I mean, maybe a little soy sauce if I have it. Wow, you would eat just plain white rice. I love oh, that. Oh, I do, on tour. I okay. get the bags and I just heat up the bag and I eat the rice. I'm a plain girly when it comes to food. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a pretty picky eater. Okay. It doesn't get more plain than just plain white rice. So no, I got to hand it to you. I know. 
<laughs> I'll eat like a boiled potato right out of the. Right out of I the actually pot. do love that. Yeah. I do love that as well. Uh-huh. If you were not a musician, what would you be? I think a director. Wow. Mm-hmm. What kind of director? Movies? Okay. Yeah. I, I would. I mean, ideally, if this yeah. was a fantasy world, yes, feature films. That's really. Do you have a favorite director? Um, probably Quentin Tarantino. Oh, I mean, no, not that. Sounds so. No, it's. Or maybe Kubrick. I don't know. That's hard. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I just think his work is so it's incredible. Wonderful. I've like tried to like do homages to his stuff in some of my music videos, and I mean, he just has an eye. Yes, he that's does. So interesting oh, to me. He's he's such an innovator. Yeah, he's a total innovator, right? trailblazer. Yeah. In a league of his own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I support this. Thank you. Um, what is your most prized possession? Mm. Maybe I have this like stuffed animal. Um, it's an elephant, but it, I called it monkey since I was a kid. Oh, you still have it? I do. It's in, I sleep with it. Oh, bed. that's really cute. I love that. Does it go on tour with yeah, you? It yes. Does. It does. It does. Yeah. That's really sweet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Especially my when God. my boyfriend's around. Yeah, I was going to say, what does he think about it? He's yeah, like, I mean, I don't, when he's, it, it's, it's like <laughs> sits, sits next to him in the bed when it's the two of us, but when he's not gone, I cuddle it. <laughs> Wait, yeah. this is amazing yeah. monkey. The funniest part is that I got it for Christmas when I was like 14. I was like a joke. <laughs> it's not like it was like when no, you were a baby. No, it wasn't right. like a baby joke. Like my mom has like a joke, thought it was cute and was like, Here, Merry Christmas. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want this. And right. it stuck with me. It stuck with me. You really me. did want it. I did want it. I had no idea how much I wanted oh it. Oh my actually. God, this yeah. is the best. I'm dying from this. <laughs> Are there words you live by? Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. I do believe that. Um. I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. What do you hope to achieve next? I really want to sell out this tour. Yeah. I would yeah. love to sell it out. That's just like in the near future. Yeah. That's a goal. I think you will. Thank I'm you. excited for you in this next chapter. Thank you. I'm so proud of you and happy for you. Thank you. Especially because you have found happiness Thanks. from within. Yeah. And that's really the dream mm-hmm. that we all hope to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thank I love you. you, Ryan. I love you too. Thank you so much. So good. 